all right guys so i'm gonna make this really quick video and if you want to know what i'm gonna be talking about just make sure you watch till the end and smash on the red button and become part of my family and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so let's get rolling welcome guys to mom and wifey blogs now i'm here sitting in my car about to get ready to go in and i don't like driving to work with my work shoes on already on i like to put them on while i'm in the car but i wanted to talk uh, talk about uh, a topic that um uh, well now that the new um this whole news about Tristan and Chloe and the cheating scandal. Um, I wanted to talk about um, a little bit of that. Well, my video is not really focused on that, but I wanted to talk about how many of you, after you leave or after you break up with the person who you loved or you thought that you were going to spend the rest of your life with um how many of you actually took time to heal how many of you have actually taken time to you know have some me time and and be able to to put yourself together again now after a breakup, it's always healthy to spend time with yourself, surround yourself by your family, um, do stuff for yourself. And it's not healthy to stay in a relationship that's not going to go anywhere. It's not healthy to be in a relationship where the person that you're with is not doesn't see your worth. I'm struggling with my shoe. <laughs> I have some comforts on sorry um, it's just not worth it I mean why would you want to be with a person although you have a child why would you want to be with a person that doesn't value you why would you even put yourself in that situation you know because that only makes you look a little desperate I mean right and guys I mean I understand that being alone is it's not good either but it's even worse to be with someone who doesn't love you or appreciate you or even takes care of you um i've have had my share of disappointment like that um and i can tell you that as a woman um sometimes we feel that we need to be in a relationship and sometimes putting up with um the the cheating and putting up with the humiliating and putting up with um, with the embarrassment is better than being alone. And let me tell you, no, it's not. You, nobody deserves to be treated bad. Nobody deserves to be cheated on. No matter how good or bad you are, nobody deserves that. You know, especially the woman who is carrying your child and has left her come her home her her you know her like we say in spanish comodidades her you know her kingdom to be by your side you know or that goes with the man as well you know because some men move into the women um home as well but what i want to talk about guys also is you need time to heal you need time to be by yourself you need time to say okay I'm gonna take care of myself I'm gonna focus on myself and 
I'm just gonna, you know, forget about the dating world and I'm just gonna take time to reinvent myself, to work out and be a better version of myself. Or I'm gonna take the time to to be, you know, a better, I don't know, like, oh, I found my ring light. All right. Um, to be who I'm supposed to be, you know. I know that I also made my mistakes. I, after I got that relationship with the father of my son, a.k.a. the sperm donor, um... I didn't take time to heal. I never actually took the time for myself. I jumped into the dating world pretty fast and that only caused disappointments and the you know disillusiones, disillusions, I guess that's how you say it. And that's not healthy, you know. I mean, you need time for yourself. You need time to have some me time be able to do stuff for you and, and since you know I had a child be able to spend time with your child which I I did and it's just a shame you know that um, instead of being a hey, honey I don't want to be with you anymore you know I, this is not working out you know but they just gotta go and cheat. Like, why cheat? Just tell the person you don't want to be with them. Like, why do you have to humiliate the person? Especially if you're on the spotlight. If you're a celebrity, that's even worse. You know, and especially if she's about to have a baby. But I, that goes for every single human being. You know? Uh, I, some people think that it's better and easier to cheat want to keep it real with the person who's carrying your child or for the person who's you know going above and beyond for you you know I know those there's men who also get cheated on and mistreated and that's just not right don't do that like if you don't you're not happy in your relationship you're better off just breaking off the the relationship you say you don't want honey this is not working out this is you know it's not gonna go anywhere so you know it's better we go our separate ways and that's it that's all you gotta do there's no need to cheat but you know not everybody thinks that way I mean some people still think that cheating is the easiest way to go about it and it's the best way but guys I just want to talk about that because I've been in that situation and I have made my share of bad decisions. I am a human being and after my after that relationship with the father of my son a couple of months went by probably like six seven months went by and after that I'm almost like oh you need time for yourself blah 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 and I actually did, did take time for myself. I still went out, but I never got into a relationship until probably three years after. Yeah, three years after. And, you know, things happen. You know, bad decisions too. But I, I'm glad that I had taken that time for myself because I got to enjoy more my, my son and my brothers, which at that time they were both really small. And it's always good to take time for yourself. It's always good to heal and be able to dedicate some time to yourself. Um, you have to be selfish sometimes and say no. You know, it's okay to say no. So guys, I mean, don't ever feel, because I felt alone too. I felt the moments that I needed a companion, when in reality, um, all I needed is to get closer to God. I needed to be surrounded by my family, and I needed to be surrounded by my friends. You know, relationships are work. It's dedication, it's time. 
it's sacrifice it's being selfless and it's like a rose if you don't take care of it it's gonna die down and I've had you know like some friends of mine who, who have gotten cheated on and that's just horrible guys don't do that it's not good well guys I'll let you go because I have to go inside my job but I'll see you guys soon and don't forget to smash that button and hit the thumbs up.